Hey, welcome to Color Up. What should we do with our place beds? Should we press them up, regress them down, flat bed them? Well, in today's video, we find out. Stick around. All right, this is gonna be a little bit of an experiment. I'm gonna have three players all playing the six and the eight, but play them a little differently. The first player, he's just going to place the six and the eight for one unit. The second player is also gonna play the six and the eight for one unit. And the third player, he is gonna bet two units on the six and the eight. All right, let's say the six hits. Player A, his six dollar bet, is gonna win $7. He's just gonna rack that up, keep collecting and hoping to hit more six and eights. Now player B, if he hits the six, his $6 bet is also gonna win seven, but instead of staying flat, he's going to press it up to two units and just collect the $1. From there on out, he'll get paid $14 for, every, for his $12 bet. So collects one on the first round, and after that he's gonna collect 14 for every hit after that. All right, player three, or player C, he's got a $12 bet. He's going to win $14, and he is going to regress this bet down to one unit. So he collects $20 on the first hit, and every hit after that he's gonna get paid seven. So is it better to press, regress, or flat bet? Well, our press player, obviously the first hit, he's not got much of a profit, but every hit after that, if we get a long roll of hitting the numbers, six and the eight, he's gonna be collecting $14 a hit. All right, a regress player, if it's a short roll, he hits it early, he's gonna get paid up front, but each roll after that, he's only getting $6, so or $7, so, you know, a decent mid-sized roll is maybe not gonna pay as much as our press better. Now this player also has the most risk at the beginning, so if a seven rolls early before the place numbers are hit, he's gonna, he's gonna have the most at risk and lose the quickest. Now player A, our flat better, it seems like he would be okay on a choppy table. Early outs, it's not gonna hurt him too bad, he's only got six dollars. If it's a short to medium roll, he's just collecting. So let's do a live roll and really just see how it plays out. All right, I'm gonna start each player off with $110. And you don't have to wait for the come out roll. You can have your bets working. Probability wise, it really doesn't make a difference. There's no, if you're not playing the pass or the don't, there's no reason to wait for the point to be set. But uh, just for tradition's sake, we'll go ahead and wait for a point to be established. And our first point is gonna be nine. Nine's the point. So this is player A. He's gonna bet the six and the eight, and he's gonna be over here. Player B, six and eight, and he's over here. And player C is, he's going to bet $12 each. And we'll put him back here. All right, we're set up and let's see what happens. 12 box cars, my dice rolled there, but that was a 12. We're looking for that six or eight, and we got a six, five, one, six. So player A is gonna get seven. Player B, seven, and player C, he's gonna win 14. Player A, we're just gonna rack it up and flat bet it. Player B, he's actually gonna press his up to two units and collect a one. And player C, he's gonna regress his down to one unit and rack all this up here. All right, still looking for that six and eight. Nope, not gonna happen, we got a seven. Seven out. All right, let's get a new point set. The new shooter. Here we go, coming out. And we got 11, 11 yo. Still looking for a point, and it's gonna be another nine. Point's gonna be nine again. So I'll mark the nine. Player A set up. Player B. And player C. All right, shooter, six or eight, let's go. 
All right, we got an eight, six, two, eight. Gonna pay seven, seven, and this pays 14. We're gonna go ahead and give the dealer one for 15. And again, player A is just gonna collect. Player B is gonna press his up to two units and collect one. And player C is gonna regress his down to one unit. And there we go. All right, let's see some more numbers, six and eight. We're looking for that six and eight, all right. We hit an eight again. So we get seven. This time player B is gonna get 15. We're gonna give the dealer one for 15. And player C, he's just gonna get seven. All right, let's see some more six and eights. All right, we got nine, nines are points. We hit our point, points off, our bets are off. So we gotta establish a new, new come out or a new point, seven on the come out. And that's why people say don't work them on the come out. And 11, 11 yo. And we got an eight. My dice rolled there, I hit it, but that was a two, six, eight. So our points eight, our bets are working. Let's see, let's hit a six or an eight again. A four, three, one, four. And a five, no field five. Looking for that six and eight. We got a 10. And a nine, all right. Looking for that six and eight. Three, three craps. And there's an eight, hard eight. It's gonna pay seven for player A, player B. It's gonna pay 14, we'll give him one for 15. And player C, it's gonna get seven. And we hit our point, so that comes off. And same shooter, it's gonna look for a new point. Point's gonna be five. We're ready, back in action, looking for that six and eight. All right, we hit the six, nice. Six will pay seven, six will pay seven. 14, or 12 will pay 14. We're gonna give the dealer one for 15. Player A is just gonna rack it. Player B, he's gonna press his up, collect one. Player C is gonna regress his down. All right, the players have made the moves on both of these numbers. For, so from this point out, we're just gonna roll it out. Both, all three players are gonna be flat betting and we'll see what happens. All right, shooter, let's see that six or eight. We got a four. And there's a five, that's our point. So we hit our point, that's gonna come off, and now we're gonna look for a new point. Same shooter. Point's gonna be 10. Bets are working, we're looking for that six and eight. All right, we hit our six, nice. It's gonna pay seven. It's gonna pay 14, so we'll do 15 for one. And player C is gonna win seven. All right, shooter, we're doing pretty good. Let's see some more six and eights. All right, we got a five, three, two, five, no field five. And there's a five again, back to back fives. And there's the nine. Look for that six or eight. And there's another nine. 12 boxcars. Three, three craps. And seven, seven out.
think it was a decent little roll. All right, we're going to have a new shooter. Coming out, looking for that point. Point's going to be four, four hard. One unit each for player A. Same for player B. And two units for player C. And here we go. It's going to be 11, 11 yo. And there's an eight, five, three, eight. Seven, seven. We'll do, uh, we'll do it, uh, we'll just pay him 14. 14. Player A is just gonna rack it. Player B is gonna press it. Player C is going to regress it. All right, here we go. It's gonna be six, nice. Player A, player B, player C is going to win 14. We're going to give the dealer one for 15. And again, A, he's just going to rack. B, he's going to press his up to two units and collect one. And player C is going to regress down and collect his $20. All right, shooter, here we go. And we got a four, so we hit our point. My dice rolled there, but we hit our four. Puck's off, our bets are off. Same shooter, looking for a new point. Up against the wall, it is a five, five, 10, hard 10. Can I get it? It's like stuck. It was a five. So point's gonna be 10. And here we go, bets working, ready to go. And no, seven, seven out. Pucks off. Can I have a new shooter? And here we go, looking for a point. Seven, seven on to come out. Doesn't bother us place betters. Two, two craps. And three, three craps. And all right, point's gonna be five, four, one, five. Picked one too many that time. All right, we're set up and ready to go. Let's see some six and eights. Instead, we're gonna hit our point. So now these are off and we're coming out looking for a new point. And the point's gonna be six. All right, let's see if we can hit that six again. It's gonna be 10. And there it is, six, six hard. Pay seven, seven, and it's gonna pay 14. We'll get one for 15. Player A, he's happy just to rack it. Player B, he's gonna press. And player C, he's gonna regress. Puck's, puck's gonna go off. Same shooter looking for a new point. Point's gonna be nine, center field nine. And here we go. All right, 10, 10 easy. And we got a craps, one, two, three craps. Up against the wall, we got a three, three, hard six, hard six. Gonna get paid seven. He's gonna get paid 14. Let's do one for 15. Player C is gonna get paid seven. 
We're just going to rack all those up. Lower our stacks so they don't fall over. All right, let's see that eight. Nope, not gonna happen. Seven, seven out. All right, new shooter. Looking for a point. And the point's gonna be 10. One unit, one unit, two units. And here we go. It's going to be three, three, one, four. And we've got a nine. And uh, seven, seven out. That one wasn't good for anybody, especially for player C. Remember, he's got a little more at risk. Puck's gonna come off. New shooter. And point's gonna be eight, eight hard. All right, let's hit that six or eight. And it's gonna be a five. And ugh, seven, seven out. Not good. All right, Maybe we'll give it a couple more rolls. So we got a new shooter. Coming out, and the point is going to be eight. Back on that eight. Single units for player A. Player B, going to have to get some change. Turn three. And player B, or player C. All right, let's see some six and eight shooter. All right, three back to back, very short rolls. That is, that is crap sometimes. People always, that's why I say, this isn't gonna be a conclusive experiment because it just depends on how the dice rolls. So everyone always goes, hey, is this strategy, they ask me for my you know, advice on a strategy, is this one good, is this one bad? You know, I really can't tell you, if you give me the dice results, tell me how the rolls played out, I could tell you if your strategy is gonna work or not work, or would have with those particular rolls, but none of us can see in the future, so we don't know whether flat betting, pressing, regressing is gonna be the best option until we see them dice results. And five, five is going to be the point. And it looks from these stacks that it looks like everyone's down. And get his change. And we're set up and ready to go. Let's see some six and eights. Nope, we got a four. It's all right. Doesn't hurt us. There we go. Heart eight. 
Gonna win seven here. This player is gonna win seven. And this player is going to win 14. Player A, he's just gonna collect. This pile small enough, we just stack it up. Player B, he's gonna press his up. And player C, he's gonna regress his down. It's funny, just a minute ago I had to take down their stacks because they're getting high and now they're they're low. All right, 10. Still looking for that six or eight. And we got a four, three, one, four. And a nine. Looking for that six or eight. There's a five, which is our point. So the puck's gonna come off. It's gonna be the same shooter looking for a new point. It's a new point, he's right back on that five. And now we're working and ready to go. And nice, we hit that eight. It's gonna get paid seven. It's gonna get paid 14. Need some more ones. Player C is gonna get paid seven. All right, here we go. And we got a five, so that's, we hit our point. Puck's gonna come off. And we're gonna have the same shooter looking for a new point. Okay, right back on that five, he likes that five. We're looking for the six and the eight. Three, three craps. And all right, there's a six, nice. It's gonna get paid seven. Seven, and we'll do this. One for 15, so he gets paid 14. Player A, like always, just racks it up. Player B, he's gonna press his up to two units. And player C, he's gonna regress down to one unit. All right, they're both pressed or regressed how we want them, and from here on, we just ride it out Open, hit some more numbers. All right, we hit the eight. Player A, seven. Player B wins 14. We're gonna do one for 15. And player C is seven. All right, if you stuck around this far, then you're probably a fan or like my stuff. Um, as you guys know, I always wear different hats for all these videos, but I only have so many hats. So I thought about something. What if you guys mail me your hat? Maybe it's a company hat or something like that. You mail me a hat, it's a gift, so you're not sponsoring a video or anything. You mail me a hat, I'll put my PO box down below in the description. You mail a hat, I'll show your hat, mention you by name or company or whatever you like. And uh, yeah, maybe have a little fun with it. You're thinking, hey, he's just trying to get some free hats. Mm, maybe. But anyway, so they, they would be gifts. I'd appreciate them. But I will mention you. Again, it's not a sponsorship. It would be just a gift, which I would appreciate. If not, eh, whatever. You'll see. I only have so many hats, so you probably see the same ones in rotation. But I just thought of that. Maybe it'll be a little bit of fun. All right, let's keep rolling. And dice off the table. No roll. You guys know what happens after dice go off? The nope, that didn't work. We hit our point. You're supposed to hit, hit big red, right? Well, it didn't happen this time. All right, so same shooter, looking for a point. And seven on the come out. My dice rolled there, but that was a seven. So we're still looking for that point. And the point is gonna be eight. All right, let's hit some six and eights to finish this thing up. 12, boxcars, 12. Dice off the table, no roll. And boxcars again, okay. And a nine. We're looking for that six or eight shooter. 
Up against the wall, it is a 415. And seven, seven out. So I think this video has probably went on long enough. Um, I could keep rolling, but you'll see the numbers here, how A, B, and C did. Again, it's a short experiment. Doesn't really prove anything, but it does get you thinking on, you know, if you're gonna have short rolls or hoping for long rolls, how you wanna attack this game of crap. So I hope you liked the video. Again, send me some hats. I'll send my PO box down below. And until next time, good luck on coloring up.